My videos are not the common ones you find on YouTube. People um, using all sorts of tricks, fanfare, music, uh, artifacts, uh, video editing, anything that grabs your attention. Why they would do that? Because they either make money or they want to feel significant by having a high number of views that makes them feel that their opinion uh, is valid, their point of view is valid and they feel significant that way. So in my case one view it's okay as long as it helps. Uh, this topic, this today topic is about um, why some people can't lose weight. And I will start off with uh, an example. One of my relatives uh, had some thyroid trouble and got a surgery or more than one surgery. And um, because of that, uh, there is a lack of uh, the hormones that are made by the thyroid. And that causes uh, different trouble uh, beside temperature regulation and other functions in the body but also it makes those people who suffer from this problem uh, gain weight. She was um, going for a run every day, every day. A 76 years old woman is going for a run, 4 kilometer run on the track and people look, oh, okay, she is old, but she is still running. Okay. So, why she was doing that? Because it helped her to burn off some of the extra calories that otherwise would go into deposits, into fat tissue. And at that age, the extra fat is not good because you get your body tired carrying around a bag of uh, fat or a kind of a extra extra layer is like you carry your backpack full of uh, useless stuff you put a bunch of stones in your backpack and you carry them around why because probably you want to get tired or something yeah that's uh, the problem and lots of obese people experience Carrying something that is useless, unless they are uh, uh, some Japanese uh, sports performers, or maybe they perform on a stage as a, some sort of a comedian, or maybe they perform certain jobs that helps them to survive and make a living. But otherwise, uh, or maybe waiting for a famine or for a uh, nasty season, but otherwise uh, they realize that carrying the extra weight on the shoulders, on the spine, on every muscle of the body is useless. So it's obvious. So she was doing that, trying to lose weight, and she maintained a, a stable and let's say within health means a weight until not long time ago uh, she got a heart problem because of the age and because of tiring her, her heart so running uh, takes some heart uh, energy so the heart was, was going to work harder and if you are at 70 something years old uh, it's a tired heart it's like an older engine in the car or the pump or anything like that it, it, did its job for so many years, uh, it, either the tissues are being replaced for so many times, the cells are new every time, but in the genetic code there is information telling this heart it's kind of a replaced, different one, it's not the same that person came uh, at birth with, but still it's an aging heart which has different trouble that they don't correct with uh, re refreshing of the new tissues and cells every, every often. 
and um, so she was told that she has to take it easy but what happens when you take it easy you don't burn as many as calories as before and now if you don't change the diet and the lifestyle you most likely will gain some weight so obese people also have emotional problems lots of them have emotional problems and if you are tempted to make some uh, comments uh, I'll try to disable the comments on this recording um, if you tried for 20 years or something to lose weight and nothing works for you uh, you are more likely you program your mind to reject new stuff or reject comments from people trying to suggest you stuff because you think that you are smart and you tried everything that's possible every diet and nothing works for you so when you say nothing when you tell yourself that nothing works for me of course you are going to look for confirmation bias you are going to look for people who support your uh, negative or, uh, your attitude telling you yeah it's not possible that's your genetics poor poor guy you are you're fat or you are obese because of your genetics that yes you're right of course if you choose you you're right uh, you will always find people supporting your righteousness and making you feel you're right and you try to look for that bias and you, every information you seek is actually making try you try and make yourself feeling good because obesity lots of time comes from emotional problems emotional problem imbalanced emotions imbalanced hormonal uh, uh, in the body makes those people uh, have in imbalanced body system so let me find a way to park. So now, if you are one of those, of course you will reject anything that anything that's um, against your already established belief system. Uh, you think, yeah. Uh, this guy is stupid, he doesn't know what he's talking about, yeah, it's all bullshit, no, I don't want to listen, it makes me feel bad, yeah, he, he wants to tell me there is a, a way around, that makes me feel stupid, I don't want to feel bad or stupid that I didn't want to listen to a similar uh, suggestion in the past, so I'll skip this guy. So I've seen that before, I don't mind it, I'm not trying to get your views. So my aunt, going back to my aunt, eh, auntie. Rather heck. Um, that was my, okay, the service car she started to gain weight but when you gain weight and when you have some emotional problems because the doctor tells you you have to have some heart surgery okay now you have to impose yourself a diet or a system that keeps you in check keeps you in good health which is not always easy and it requires work on your emotions so it requires discipline it might require a physical effort it may require some diet and stuff like that you don't want that you don't want that because you are already suffering you are already obese and suffering and maybe bullied at work or maybe not being liked or maybe not having a success in your love life or not finding a right partner so lots of things go around you know maybe having diabetes and stuff so now on top of that you you are told or you are suggested that you need to put some emotional effort and uh, refrain from eating what you like or something that's bullshit i don't want to do that yes so 
that's common. People try a diet, it requires discipline, it requires keep doing that, and uh, but they give up. And they got obese in the first place because of the poor discipline, right? Uh, poor lifestyle. So they went for pleasure because of emotional problem, not loving themselves, not uh, you know different emotional uh, uh, in emotional trouble that got these people into seeking love and they don't have a teacher or a spiritual guru or some uh, good parent to teach them what's actually love and they are looking for a good feeling and they will find a replacement in the food that's American uh, standard uh, feeding eating like a pig to find love but actually they just find pleasure which is not love so they end up never being loved because once they get obese and sick, they decrease their chance of finding love for someone who really loves them. Uh, and then they end up uh, being victim in a victim mentality, trying to look for compassion. Oh, I'm so obese. Oh, I'm so sick. Or I'm so. Uh, hoping that someone will give them compassion as a replacement for love that they can't find. But first you have to know how to give, then receive love. So it's a different topic. But now uh, I'm going back to troubleshooting this thing. So my auntie uh, now has to deal with a extra extra storage because of the thyroid because she can't burn those things and she, because she will not uh, change diet and uh, go through, a, not suffering, but go through some sort of a restriction, self-restricting diet. It, she's 70 something years old, 77 or something. And probably she thought, okay, you know what, I have like a two more years to live, five or ten years to live. I want to enjoy it instead of me telling myself, oh yeah, you should not touch that food, you should not touch, touch that food. So, conclusion, conclusion, because now uh, you may say I was going around not giving you the, the answer which an obese person would like to hear, but an answer that does not involve discipline or does not involve any mental work, any uh, physical effort, right? They want it easy. Why? Because being obese makes them tired and having lack of energy because there's lots of energy of that flame, life flame, go, life force goes into feeding the body, feeding the fat carrying the body around that's required lots of energy so uh, from the same flame there is not enough for the mind power so we'll not describe how this life force is being allocated by the mind so the body and the mind need some of that life force to function and to do things and to take you as a soul take you around and explore this uh, let's say your reality and this environment the physical realm so if that obese person or overweight person does not have that energy that mental energy he will not have a power to decide he will not have a power to be to discipline he will not have power to cook to live well which might require some uh, some uh, effort so there is not energy and it's more of a lethargy and lack of uh, lack of everything, lack of everything. And the, that person will go for the quick fix, will go for the, like what gives me feeling good, but not putting much effort. And of course in America you find this cheap, crappy food, unhealthy food, which gives these people a quick relief 
of their need for a loving emotion, feeling good emotion, so they will grab those uh, junk foods. Uh, Walmart can point fingers. Walmart is poisoning the population by selling that. So if I sell poison, am I, am I guilty? I may say, I would say, in my self-defense, I would say, no, I'm just selling, I'm making an offer. It's not my problem if I have buyers and it's the buyer's responsibility to choose me as a seller or choose someone else who sells them something else. So I'm just making an offer. I'm selling poison, I'm selling uh, crap, that, crap that is killing people, right? Like uh, people selling guns. Yeah, they can exist on the market. Nobody is banning these people to sell guns. Nobody is banning. Uh, in some places, some places in the world is, is being for, uh, banned to sell drugs, right? But in other places, yeah, we just turn our blind, blind eyes. Same thing with the sugary and crappy and unhealthy foods, processed foods. Not all are bad, but uh, not having nutrition, uh, slowly, slowly decay the population health, the whole country population health. And if I look at the American population, it's like that. It's in decay, it's in decline. And they expect that some new generation to maintain and sustain the economy. How? When you see like 40, 50 percent of the kids are obese. Obese asking for more. So they say, yeah, yeah, they feed the economy with uh, being sick, they feed the economy, the insurance companies, the tax system, the healthcare system, right? So we need to take care of these bodies and that keeps some of the economy moving. But who's producing stuff? Oh, yeah, no problem, we have China. We have China, they can produce for us. So we create money, we invent money when we make money off this, these guys. We kind of uh, go into a circle we keep these guys into the healthcare system. They kind of produce some things because they still go to work, some of them. And we write some money and we buy from China. And we get voted and the country goes. The new generation, will, they will figure out something with pollution, with obesity, with uh, uh, other problems, but we create because we allow these guys to do whatever. So, there is no censorship, there is no regulation. There, I mean, there is some regulation, but not clear regulation. And if the, some company makes, uh, brings lots of tax money, they are good. If you sell crap, they are good. So, that's the going around, like talking beside the topic a little bit, but it's part of the same big problem. And it's a big problem in the North American continent, like Canada is not that bad yet. Canada and the United States. And I gave you some of the reason. Probably you knew already, it's obvious, but in case you haven't thought about it. Yes, and um, the fix now, the fix. If you are into that boat and you have lack of energy, you can't cook, you don't cook, you don't want to, you don't have the feeling, you you don't want to, or you don't have the money because uh, your condition prevents you from doing work that pays you well. So you can only afford crappy stuff. Then uh, an advice I got from someone, and I made a video out of it now, right? Even uh, you expected me to give you the quick answer, like, uh, oh yeah, this is the recipe. You use it and uh, you'll get the results, you'll get a cake. No, but if you are a cook, you want to do your own, make your own recipes, then you have to understand the principles, what salt does in the food, what, to your taste buds, you what uh, pepper and stuff. If you just follow a recipe, blindly follow a recipe, you're a follower that you will not learn anything. You just combine stuff like blindly and uh, you eat it. No, you have to understand it in order to be creative and uh, create something new out of your own mind and hands. The answer I got was that 
people should eat very nutritious food in a less amount. So when you eat nutritious but in a less amount of food, all that is going to, or most of that is going to be converted into energy. And another important step is you need to take it easy. So taste that food. Feel it. Enjoy it. And it might take you 20 minutes, half an hour to eat your meal, a very nutritious meal, like a condensed matter into the meal. And in that time, your brain will receive the chemical, the electrical signal that comes from an enzyme in the stomach telling you that you are full. So uh, you, like a, you had enough food. And the brain tells you, okay, you don't need food anymore. Okay, you are done with a smaller amount. So first thing, a nutritious food that doesn't require large portions. So you eat smaller portions, but concentrated, like a full of loaded with nutrients that is feeding your body. It doesn't leave you, your body hungry. A body that's hungry will ask for more food more often. So nutritious, tasty, you can make it tasty so you enjoy the experience. But if you make it too tasty, then you are going to eat very fast like a pig. Eat, eat, eat because you feel good and you don't have patience for the next spoon or a fork or a chopstick or something. So you will grab a lot in a short period of time. But you will fill up your stomach with stuff and in 10 minutes the brain does not have that signal telling it that your body had enough food so that's, that's why you eat a lot so eat smaller amounts but because of smaller amount you need to spread it out throughout a longer time frame so at least 20 25 minutes at least you enjoy the meal at the same time and that educate your discipline so it makes you a uh, learn how to self-discipline because now you tell yourself I need to wait I need to so it requires effort but that's why people got obese because they like a uh, lot of them not everyone lots of them because they did not have the self-discipline they did not want to put effort into changing the lifestyle so they got it uh, into the boat they are right now then again so nutritious smaller portion and expand the time frame you eat so those are at least three ways at least uh, without you um, without you having to do a lot of physical exercise so once this one kicks in, the, you st stabilize the weight gain. So first you need to do something. You can't just go to the root of the problem. I mean, to, to fix it right away. This is a, you got weight uh, within like uh, 10 years, 20 years, whatever, three years. So you can't fix it overnight. You have to think that it took you a long time to gain weight. It will take you some time to get rid of it so first you need to stabilize the uh, the weight gain make it stop so you monitor your 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 health once you stabilize it by following what i suggested earlier at least that way then you start boosting your confidence you start feeling good you see results and you Applaud yourself, which gives you encouragement, give, makes you feel you want to explore these options, you want to do more of that, because it also gets you some dopamine going, feel, making you feel good of your own success. So you want success, your own success, making you feel significant, make you feel good. So you gain that significance, your self-significance, by doing this type of stuff, simple stuff. Then, 
once you are satisfied with who you are and what you achieved so you need to like I said you need to be proud of yourself your achievements uh, then you can continue and you start finding ways because now you are interested you are interested to feel good about yourself so that's a mind trick you need to feel good about yourself and then you will explore and you will be open to other ways and methods that you rejected in the past because now you see so oh, something works for me and it makes me feel good and you will not tell yourself oh I was so stupid not to listen to some of the advices I closed my mind because that thought is going to be shadowed by the feeling good the feeling that you have power of you over your own body you have power of making some changes and you feel good feel significant so that feeling good overpowers the uh, the other emotions that made you reject other solutions that you can find over the internet so see you later that was 26 minutes I will disable the comments if I can and uh, yeah so good luck good luck you know what you do because since you made it to this age that means you are kind of self-sufficient take it bye, -bye.